Hello welcome to Beyond Borders Briefing, where we bring you the latest news and analysis on the world's most pressing issues. Today, we are going to talk about how the US government avoided a shutdown in a last-minute deal. On September 30, 2021, the US Congress passed a temporary funding bill that kept the government running until December 3, 2021. President Joe Biden signed it into law minutes before the midnight deadline. The bill also included $28.6 billion in disaster aid for states ravaged by extreme weather and $6.3 billion to further assist Afghan refugees. The deal was reached after a tense standoff between Democrats and Republicans over the provision of U.S. aid to Ukraine, which was facing a military threat from Russia. The Senate had approved a bill that included $1 billion in security assistance for Ukraine, but House Republicans opposed it and demanded that the aid be removed. They argued that the aid was not urgent and that it would provoke Russia into further aggression. The House Speaker, Kevin McCarthy, proposed a compromise bill that excluded the aid for Ukraine but extended the funding until November 17, 2021. They wanted to use the funding bill as leverage to force Biden to reverse his policies on immigration, abortion, and COVID-19 vaccines. With time running out, the Senate Majority Leader, Chuck Schumer, announced that he had reached an agreement with McCarthy to pass a shorter-term funding bill that also omitted the aid for Ukraine. He said that the deal was not ideal but it was necessary to prevent a shutdown that would harm millions of Americans. He also vowed to continue working on a longer-term budget that would address the needs of Ukraine and other allies. The U.S. government has faced four shutdowns in the past decade, each lasting from a few hours to 35 days. The shutdowns have caused disruptions to public services, furloughs of federal workers, and losses to the economy. The last shutdown occurred in 2018-2019 over Trump's demand for funding for a border wall with Mexico. The temporary funding bill that averted a shutdown this time is only a stopgap measure that will expire in two months. Congress will have to negotiate another deal before December 3, 2021, or face another potential shutdown. The deal will also have to address the debt ceiling, which is the legal limit on how much the U.S. government can borrow. The U.S. Treasury Secretary, Janet Yellen, has warned that the U.S. will run out of money to pay its bills by October 18, 2021 unless Congress raises the debt ceiling. The debt ceiling issue has also been a source of partisan conflict, as Republicans have refused to cooperate with Democrats on raising it. They have accused Democrats of spending too much on their social and environmental agenda, which includes a $3.5 trillion reconciliation bill that would expand health care, education, and climate programs. Democrats have argued that raising the debt ceiling is necessary to pay for past spending that both parties agreed on and that failing to do so would trigger a financial crisis and damage the U.S. credit rating. The U.S. government faces multiple challenges and uncertainties as it tries to avoid another shutdown and default. It also has to deal with the implications of its decision to withhold aid from Ukraine, which could weaken its ally and embolden its adversary. The fate of the U.S. economy and its global leadership depends on how Congress resolves these issues in the coming weeks. That's all for today's briefing. Thank you for watching Beyond Borders Briefing. Please subscribe to our channel for more updates and analysis on the world's most pressing issues.